You know, we call these the three dismal D's, death, divorce, and disagreements. Well, that's what lawyers call them when we're talking to uh, lay people. When we're at the country club, <laughs> sipping our drinks over our two-hour lunch after coming in from the golf course, we call these the three big dollar D's. They are the grease that keeps the big gears of the legal machinery running smoothly. My goal here today is to keep you from being grease monkeys. Okay? I want you to take these things to heart. This is the money stuff. When I was a young man, I wanted to be a stand-up comedian. And somebody pointed out that I was German and the Germans aren't funny. And so I looked around for another profession, and I did the next best thing. I became a trial lawyer. <laughs> now, you just don't become a trial lawyer. You have to have clients. And those clients have to be in a state of desperation. You know that your life is on the ropes when you're sitting in a courtroom next to a trial lawyer. What I talk about basically is the three dismal Ds, death, divorce, and disagreements. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk about contracts a little bit. So we'll talk about divorce a little bit because your speaking business is an asset. It's a business. It's valuable. And then we'll save the last cheery subject, <laughs> death, and talk about how you can protect your assets in that case. And you're all going there sooner or later, hopefully later, but you're all going there. So let's go back and talk about disagreements. Well, let me give you an example. As, as you know, I used to represent Chuck Berry. We would send Chuck Berry to Europe to do 20 gigs in 30 days, and we'd use a one-page contract. I get seven-page contracts for people who are as NSA members are going to come speak to the chapter. And I don't read them. I, uh, I, I sign them and I send them back. I'm an expert in divorce. I have handled divorces for over 20 years. I quit doing them a long time ago, quite frankly, because they weren't remunerative enough. I've also had plenty myself. <laughs> First of all, a bunch of you are out there saying, well, divorce, harumph. I love that word, harumph. Harumph. A divorce is never, I'm, I'm not even going to listen to this because a divorce is just out of the question for me. I'll never be divorced. And then the rest of you I know are married. So... <laughs> Rather than talk to you about prenuptial agreements, I'm going to use what we trial lawyers call demonstrative evidence, and I have two volunteers. Would you all come up here, please? At one point, oh, here we go. Thank you. I was going to... And you are? I'm Carolyn. And? Carl. Carolyn and Carl are volunteers, and I thank them for that. Uh, Carl, that's for you. Carolyn, that's for you. Now, Carl, what does that say on the front of your envelope? I'm a songwriter. Wonderful. And Carolyn? My speaking business. Okay. Well, by the power granted to me by the National Speakers Association, and for this demonstration only, I now declare you man and wife. Oh, cool. <laughs> I mean, a marriage is nothing more than a business relationship that is complicated by romance. <laughs> Look, if you have an honest and open discussion with your spouse about your finances, it's going to leave more time and space for romance. And that's really what we all want, isn't it? Divorces are really procedures to break up a financial arrangement. The idea of a divorce is to get through it in the best financial shape as possible. I told you these are three dismal Ds, but there are things that you really have to, to pay attention to if you want to protect your business and you want to protect your assets. I have won the wife lottery, by the way. I have the most wonderful wife in the world. Thank you, thank you. I had to buy a lot of tickets. but. <laughs> Think about it. If suddenly you were disabled, what would happen to your business? Have you planned for that? Now the end is near. And as you face the final curtain. <laughs> your estate plan, your will, is like your last keynote. <laughs> it's going to be your last opportunity to be heard. I want to tell you what a pleasure it has been to speak with you. It is always a pleasure when I speak to a group of people and there is not somebody sitting next to me who might go to jail when I'm done talking. <laughs> Thank you.